Welcome back to the podcast, everybody. You know what's really weird? What? How August just didn't happen. Is it really weird how 2024 just has 11 months? Yeah, you see, the thing is, I remember them talking about it last year. Yeah. Last year, they were like, you know what, 12 months, too many. We're going to trial run this I th- this year. I think just it, 11. I think it had something to do with the leap year. Yeah, yeah, so, like we've had too many leap years. We, yeah, we had an extra day this year, so they took a month off. Yeah, to catch, yeah. catch up and took a month just off the top or the middle, rather. Do, do you think they'll get away? They'll like save I think, with the swords. Or? I think I think they're buying it. I yeah, think they're buying yeah, it. Keep definitely. going, keep going. Okay. Yeah. So <laughs> August just just didn't happen. No summer either. It is. Like, I mean, that's true as well. We God, we yeah. barely had a summer this yeah, year. We had a good four days, I think. Yeah, four days where it was fucking boiling and then nothing happened but yeah we had our august didn't happen in it guys what do you guys think uh, about that strange absolutely strange i don't think we're gonna get away with no, it i think we've got to get to the shit <laughs> wax haven't we they're, they're all yeah. shouting at us right now Let's... so we went a month without a podcast for good reason kieran do you want to explain the reason um craig's whipped hey whoa 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 nah that wasn't the reason well that was the first two weeks at least well, I mean, we could have done it whilst my girlfriend was here, but we didn't. So, what's, what's, impolite, isn't it? What, what's the deal here? Oh. Are we doing four? I don't want to do four. I think we got to do four. They're going to shout at us. So okay. We do four. You ready? No. I was very light on that one. I was very, very nice to you. Go Still on. on the bone, though. Why I know, I can't get nothing else by the bone. Go on. Ooh. That was a bit more knee. That was that the knee, that. Sorry. <laughs> it's, gone, it's gone stiff. <laughs> There was no need to go for my knee. <laughs> what do you mean? Quick, come on, let's get it over with. That's two. D- three. <laughs> quick. Four. Four. <laughs> Sorry, I hit you a bit hard that on that one. That third one was a corker, lad. Oh, this <laughs> sucks. You really have to restrain yourself from fucking sticking that oh in my, my throat God, after I, that I, third one, did I you? wanted to take your, your foot off. I seen man. the shake, oh, and I was like, yes. he's stopping himself from hitting me in the face with that. But yeah, there we go, guys. We're really sorry oh about that. Fucking, why did we uh, come up with that rule? I don't know. Because why? we generally thought that we would stop, you know, that we would actually be pretty good at this. I, I, but sure we're not. The, I'm sure the whole point of it as well was to stop us from missing weeks. It was, yeah. It didn't, though. <laughs> it really didn't. Fuck's sake. Yeah, that is. It's not going to be feeling that. thing is, I'm, I'm still sort of feeling the last one. From a month ago. From a month ago, yeah. Like, I, I press a certain part of my leg. You do bruise like a peach, though. You go and to, we were wearing shorts as well. Yeah, oh, yeah. That, that was the four days of summer we had. No, it was. Yeah, it was. <laughs> but, yeah, welcome back to the podcast, everyone. Really, really sorry. How we missed <laughs> so much. Uh, it was, yeah, uh, my girlfriend August was down. Uh, our sisters had a baby. Our sister had a baby. You were going through some pretty serious life stuff. Yeah, your penis fell off. Pretty much, I mean, might as well. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even like mean it that way. I just wanted to say something ridiculous. It's, it's just funny, and it fuck the cat's out the bag now. I put it on my Instagram. Anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. Me and Holly separated. I am. We, we were trying to sort of dance around it in the last episode. Yeah, um, because we're still like quite fresh. Yeah, so I just went in the right headspace to actually sit down and talk shit with my brother for an hour. Which I'm very offended by, if you ask me. Oh, it's just quite boring. Like, just on the best of days, like, I just really can't stand your face. Even when you're in a good mood. <laughs> but, no, yeah, so... Yeah, again... Apologies, guys. Yeah, but it's, we're it's, back. We're back. Yeah, it does, it does suck that we miss so much. But, yeah, we're going to try and <laughs> try and keep it... Uh, consistent. Uh, cons- con- consistent from now on. We do also have a bunch of other videos... Yeah, non, yeah. Non pod videos uh, coming your way later on this year. Um, yeah, yeah. Specifically because Craig is leaving me. I am. Yeah, I'm, so I'm going. I'm going uh, to Norway for my birthday uh, to see my girlfriend, and then I'm spending Christmas in Italy and New Year's in Norway. And I'm, yeah, I'm going to be then in in. I'm uh, just Norway not going to see you for December. Pretty much, yeah. I'm gonna be gone for the majority of December. See what I get, guys. Like, see, <laughs> see what I have to put up with. 
what is this shit? It's because you've been so miserable lately, you know? not <laughs> I just want to get away from it, you know what I mean? I feel like I should, you know... Oh, you bastard! <laughs> you bastard! That hurts because it's so true. Uh, <laughs> that's not the reason, I promise. I just want to spend time with my girlfriend. No, oh, fuck you for being happy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but, but yeah, yeah, we're back and we start today's pod. The way we start every pod with the get in the bins. I'm going to... Uh, Again, gonna... we don't have a viewer get in the bins because it's been a while. But be sure to leave you get in the bins in the in the, in the the thing. Do you have a get in the bin? I don't. I have a get in the win. Oh, okay. So... Nice change of pace. As you guys all know, I have a Discord server. If you guys don't know, please join. Link down below. Um, also, we have a fresh new link that I'm going to give you so it don't look as messy anymore. <laughs> a new link? Yeah, Caleb done something. We have a sexy new link. Um, we've also revamped the entire server. We literally done this like two days ago, so everything's nice and organized. Is that what you were up till fucking six in the morning doing? Because when I tell you, yeah, I was in bed, right? <laughs> yeah. And all I kept hearing was this motherfucker's... Discord server. Love you all, by the way. You're all the best. But they were all just talking <laughs> utter nonsense. No. Yeah. Six in the morning. Guys, please come and join this fucking server because honestly, it's they the don't be- sleep. Apparently, it's the best thing I've ever fuck I ever done in my life. I love the server so much. <laughs> but my getting the win this week is a member of of the Discord group. His name is Jason. Big up, Jason. So, Jason, last month, uh, decided he wanted to raise some money for prostate cancer. Oh, okay. Um, or a Prostate Cancer UK, sorry, is the cha- charity he, he was uh, raising money for. And he wanted to cycle 300 miles in one month. Right. Um, to some of you, that might not sound like a lot, but th- 300 miles is a fair fucking distance, that's, especially that's, on a yeah. bike. Yeah. Um, and Jason's on his own little fitness journey at the minute. He's absolutely killing it. Um, we have a fitness channel in the Discord, and he is constantly posting it, posting in there. So big up, Jason. Um, he ended up riding 300.41 miles. Bloody hell. Uh, and he raised £414. Um, I will put the link for his donations paid down below because I'm pretty sure it's still open. It looks like it is. Um, but yeah, big up Jason, you are my get in the win this week, you absolutely smashed it last month, bro. Um, Getting the win, still go in the bin? Yeah, because everyone wants to be in the bin, especially in the server, so Jason, no different for you, you get crumpled up, chucked in the bin, like the rest of them. Jason. (laughs) Heavy rain callback. I couldn't, I couldn't resist. But yeah, Jason, you are a fucking... Absolute legend, mate. Fair play to you. I saw a, this is completely off topic, but it just reminded me of it. I uh, saw an interview with Channing Tatum the other day, and he was talking about the My Name Jeff thing. Oh, yeah. And the guy interviewing him, he, he said, oh, my name's Jeff. <laughs> so he's been, ever since that movie dropped, he's just, every time he's, someone Could says, you, what's your name? And he says, Jeff. Everyone goes, my name's Jeff. That fucking pissed me yeah, off. And what name, other names could you do that with? Though? I mean, Jason. Jason. J- yeah. That's, that one's not as popular, though. Yeah. Uh, I I used to get Craig David a lot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, that was... What was the woman who lost the parrot? Oh. <laughs> the skulls. Sh- Chanel. 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 <laughs> Shouting after <coughs> after a bit, as if she's gonna come back. I go, what? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah, there's a lot of people outside. I just realised. I've actually filmed this during the day for once. This is this yeah, weird. it's weird. There's like activity outside. It's 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 strange. Um, but yeah, my get in the bin. Uh, I feel like it's gonna be really quick, but I think it deserves it. Is our schedule fair? I don't know if I spelled that right, fair. but our schedule is yeah, shocking. And yeah, I, we do apologise. And I believe someone said a little while ago that I was, I was gonna, our schedule should get in the bin. <laughs> so. Yeah. So obviously I do a fair few Instagram stories. Well, Cabron. Nice. You seen that clip? Basement Yard? No. Frankie says Cabron by accident. Cabron. Yeah. I like it. Um, 
but yeah, I do a lot of Instagram stories and a lot of Q and A's over there. Yeah. The amount of times we have been <laughs> slated for that one upload schedule yeah. on that. Uh, also follow me on Instagram. Um, <laughs> hey, I'm I've I've still been frequent on the TikTok. My YouTube's doing well. Have you seen? Yeah, I have seen you. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> not salty about it at all. I'm on almost ninety k. I'm on almost ninety k. Okay, get I'm this on... channel up to ninety k. I'm making a plaque soon. Have you seen? They've apparently made the plaque smaller. Have they? Yeah, apparently it's the size of an A4 piece of paper now. I thought that's how big they were anyway. No, they were like um, they were they were like slight slightly bigger. No, obviously not not that much bigger, but slightly bigger. But apparently they're smaller now. It's probably because they're giving so fucking many of them away. Because yeah, everyone's just doing the shorts. The thing. shorts thing, yeah. Because yeah. like, that's literally, I've posted two video videos, which are uh, compilations of my TikToks, <laughs> and I've posted over a hundred shorts, and I've made it to almost ninety k subscribers. Yes. Shorts are a fucking cheat code. Oh like yeah, that. yeah. It's known. Shorts it's known mad. as a loophole, isn't it? It's yeah, like... like compared to like back when I first wanted to be like a YouTuber, mm. it wasn't like hitting 90k. Like when we hit 10k on on here, we were like, what yeah, the fuck? Yeah, yeah. But like to be fair, not to like take anything away from you know, like 90k is sick. But I feel like if you can hit 10k just off videos, oh yeah, no shorts. That's just as impressive as hitting hundred k off. Shorts. Yeah, yeah. Like, like if we manage to hit a hundred k just off videos alone, that's. I feel like that's a lot more impressive yeah. than doing it off shorts because obviously, shorts are a lot more easily digestible and people treat shorts like they do TikTok, where it's like they'll see a funny short and, like, <laughs> and then they'll just tap the thing yeah, and subscribe. Like, yeah. So, you know, but. Yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube, go ahead. It's no, in the, don't, it's don't, in the you got, description. You got enough. It's fine. You don't. You don't have to see that. But um, yeah, what are we going to talk about on today's podcast, Kieran? <sighs> What's happened since? What happened in the month of August? So, oh, Jesus Christ, um, too much. Yeah, I feel like some weird shit has happened, like just worldwide. Obviously, the whole stupid American thing have happened recently oh the chase bank thing yeah that is brilliant so fucking funny if that, you're american and you've done that fair play you're a fucking if, idiot if you're american and you did that you're a fucking npc yeah. <laughs> there is no way you saw so it, for anyone that doesn't know what this is in america someone found a money what they called a money glitch <laughs> right whereas if they went to chase bank one of the biggest banks in america with a self-written check to themselves, you, they'd be able to get the money that's on that check before the bank realizes that they don't actually have the money. That is so... Which is... A, a, it's a glitch in their system. But yeah, it's not an infinite money glitch. Like, that's going to catch up to you. How did you think that they were just going to go, oh, yeah, cool. We'll just ignore that. Then. Like, yeah. I don't get the fucking... Dude, here's the thing, though. Because in order to do this, they had to put, like, their bank cards also in the machine. What's connected to their bank cards? Their name, their social security, their address. Fucking... There are countless cameras in banks. Bro. One attached to the ATM. It's so fucking stupid. How the fuck... It was that guy on TikTok who was there with minus 31,000 in his bank account. And I'm yeah. like, what did you think was going to happen? To be fair... Can I say that? I'm going to say it because I don't like the guy. But, Dad... Oh, okay. I had a little ATM hack before. Did he? Yeah. And I may or may not have done this. But, so, you can't oh, do... shit, it. he's gonna get arrested. You can't do it anymore because, um, plastic notes. Okay. Oh, is this the... The, yeah. The, you, yeah, go so on, So, basically, on. what you used to be able to do back when we had paper paper notes, you go to a cash point and you got to have money in your account to do this, or you have to. Say you had, your max limit was £300. You withdraw £300. So if you had three hundred pound in your account, like if, if your max withdrawal or limit was oh, three hundred pound, okay, okay, and you withdraw three hundred pound, then when it spat the 
the notes are obviously now it's different all the notes are like really compressed tightly together yeah yeah like yeah. i don't know if you've ever tried to pull money out of a fucking cash machine these days but like you got to fucking wrestle with the thing i can't remember the last time i used a cash machine mate but, honestly yeah. use a cash machine nowadays like the it grip it while, got on right? that is unreal <laughs> But fucking, back in the day, it just used to spit your money out at you. But what you could do is if you flicked the top note up, held it in place, and just took all the money out from below it, and just left that note there, eventually the machine will just go beep, 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 and just take that money back in. But what cash machines don't do, they'll count the money as it gives it out, but it don't count it going back in. So... It just refunds you the three full three hundred pounds you've just taken out, oh but God. you've just take you've got two hundred and ninety pounds, and you just did that again. You could just like what well, it takes like a day or two for it to go back in your account, but oh, yeah, okay. depending on like how much so money. So that you is actually, literally account, free money, bro. It was insane. Like, that hundred percent. But this you is get the thing. arrested for that. No, this is the thing. They caught up with that, and they just said, "Oh, you can't bank with us anymore." Oh, they just kicked them out? Yeah, like... Wow. Because back this was like... Fucking hell. It was yonks ago, like... This back when I like first had a bank. I think I, I was mean, like 17. I, I mean, it was paper money. Yeah, so that's yeah. That's how long like, ago it was. We're like. talking literally 10 years. I'm, I'm 27 this year, so yeah. 10 years ago. And like... Yeah, they had like... Cameras at cash machines and this, that and the other. But... Mm. There was no like... They couldn't prove that you was doing anything wrong. It weren't as like technically advanced. Yeah, as like it is now. do writing a check to yourself and then cashing it before it bounces. That's literal <laughs> fraud. That's literally what it was when people were calling it a money glitch. Yeah, I'm like this isn't Grand Theft Auto, bro. Like what the fuck is it? it honestly, like, but here's the thing: we're all laughing at America. If this happened in the UK, you know for a fact that. The I'll, smack heads. I'll do it. <laughs> I'll give it a fucking go. Mate, like, I am broke. Ten grand. You having a laugh? I am skinny. But, mate. bro, some of them were, were like withdrawing 90 grand. That's daft, though, isn't it? It's going from what? 100k in your account. You're living paycheck to paycheck to suddenly you have close to 100 grand in your account. Yeah, yeah, Of course, yeah, I'm going to fucking ask questions. You said 100k in your account, then suddenly 100k. I'm guessing you meant you got $100 in your account. And then oh, suddenly, did I? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They, they know. They, they, yeah, yeah. They're smart people out there. Um, it's but, for the dumb Americans watching. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Funnily enough, my audience on YouTube, again, bringing up my YouTube, uh, is the percentage of Americans is higher than the percentage of uh, Brits. Makes a lot of sense for your content. <laughs> yeah. But I, I do wonder what they think Tesco is. <laughs> I've written on my shit. <laughs> Like it must be like what the fuck? I don't yeah, because I mean. there's no way that, that like I don't know. I suppose some it's like how we oh, know Walmart. Yeah, we know that. Walmart and that. Yeah, yeah. But Americans live in their own little bubble, don't they? Oh yeah, it's the center of the world. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was I saw a TikTok the other day of an American saying that uh, America is just as culturally diverse as Europe, which is it isn't. And someone made a very good point. Whereas like so New York, yeah. Mm. You could fly from New York all the way to LA, which is the other side of America, 12 plus hour flight, however long it takes. Mm. You could do that and they still celebrate the 4th of July. Yeah. If you traveled from here in Wales, uh, it, I go to Norway, right? Christmas is completely different. Christmas is on a different day, <laughs> yeah. right? And they have a whole constitution day dedicated mm-hmm. to their country. And they like, have completely different ways of living. But even like you could, you haven't even got to go overseas for that. We celebrate St. David's Day. There the, we go. The English don't. The English celebrate St. George's Day. Uh, the Irish is St. Saint Pat- Saint Patrick's, Patrick's Day. Day. And there is one for Scotland. I think St. George? No, St. Saint- George is England. Uh, Scotland Scotland is like St. Saint- Oh, CMC man, it is definitely like watching this <laughs> fuming they, right they, now. They do have a day. They do yeah, have a day. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, like even like you, you, you travel an hour, it's a different language. Yeah. You know what I mean? Literally. Whereas yeah. like in America, like yeah, some of them call soda pop or, you know, stuff like that. This is, but it's not, no one's speaking a different language. This is the mad thing. So we're from Cardiff. We don't live in Cardiff, no, we're further like up in the yeah, valleys. Yeah, yeah. They have different accents. The different accent, yeah, yeah. It's crazy to me how you can drive six hours through England and hit 
what, like 20 accents? Yeah. like It's insane to me. Don't get me wrong. You've got, like, different accents throughout America, but... Yeah, 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 but still. Like, they're not as diverse as... No. No, no They're chance. still American accents. Yeah. Whereas, like, yeah, it's, it's weird with America, because for some reason they think that, like, bigger is better. Yeah. They think, oh, yeah, we're, we're, like, Texas is bigger than the entirety of the UK. Okay. And? <laughs> yeah. What's the, what's the population? I'm going to look this up real quick. Because I think the population of London is more than the population of Texas. Or something like that. Hang on. Maybe. Let's have a look. Population. What are you going for? London of, or Texas? I'll do London. Go on. Population of London is 8.9 million people. Just under 9 million That's people. a lot lower of, than I thought. Of oh, London. I'm sh- pretty sure the population of Cardiff is like 5. But yeah, population of London is 9 million people. Oh, there we go. There's one underneath. Go so, on. just because it popped up, just as I was thinking, the population of Cardiff is a lot lower than you think. 3 million. N- not even a million. What? Not even half a million. That's crazy. 372,000. Oh, okay. Uh, What's Texas? Population... Of Texas. Texas. Is that like a big number? Yeah, numbers? yeah. Oh, okay, what so is it? Thirty million. Oh, okay. So it, that wasn't the thing I found. Yeah. But yeah. what I what I have just seen is that the population of New York is eight point three million. Jeez. So that is that is crazy. But still, I digress. I still think that still those thirty million people all live the exact same. Yeah. You know what I mean? Whereas in London alone, the amount of different, like, cultures... I'm really trying not to be nasty to Texas right now. <laughs> here's the thing, no, like, I'm sure Texas is a fine place to live, and here's the thing, like, I... Don't get... I'd love to live in Texas. Yeah, yeah. Well, I wouldn't. It's hot. Yeah, but that's why. Like, I'd like to have oh, a, yeah, you'd a like... ranch yeah, yeah, yeah. out in Texas. No, my yeah, horse. That, would be, that would be fire. Did you get yeah. me a dog? But oh. it's, it's, it's like... Like, it's just Americans... They... Like I give them a lot of a lot of flack because the Americans that seem to be the loudest are the just the dipshit ones. Yeah, yeah. Whereas like obviously there are Americans. Some of the fucking biggest things invented came from Americans. Mm. Can't name any right now, but I'm sure I'm sure there's a few. But it is one of those things of like you really don't help yourself when it comes to knowledge of the rest of the world. It was, it was like the Steph Curry thing. Yeah. Steph Curry went to London. And just walk through central London and got stopped like twice. I think we um we said it before about NASCAR. Where, like, yeah, the, the yeah. The guy finished and the, the commentators were like, he's going to be known all over the world. And he's like, definitely not. No, he's not. Like That fucking, that runner, that, that Olympic sprinter who said, have you seen this? I can't remember his name. But he said, uh, something that annoys him is when uh, a team will win the NBA finals. And they'll have t-shirts and caps that says world champions. World champions of what? The United States? Yeah. And bro, this guy's American as well. People, Americans specifically, jumped on him. No, but that's true. Like... You're not playing the rest of the world. So this is like football. You've got the World Cup. The World Cup. Every single country competes in the World Cup. Rugby, you've got the World the Cup. The World Cup, yeah. Like There is a World Cup for basketball, but it's nowhere near as popular. That's Yeah, but like... Apparently Spain won it. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. Spain, Spain are good at basketball. <coughs> <laughs> Didn't fucking USA dominate the Olympics for basketball yeah, but, this year? But that's the thing. So the USA got gold in the Olympics, and one of them uh, tweeted like, are we world champions now? And it's like, you have more of an argument, yeah. Um, technically, yeah, because you competed against the rest of the world. Yeah, but also, no, because it was... That's an Olympic event, that's not a world championship. Yeah, Do yeah. Get, like, there's the... Football's in the Olympics, right? Uh, yeah, football's in the Olympics. Whoever won gold for that, they're not world champions. The, the World Cup is the world champions. Do you get, yeah, 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 like... But, yeah. It's like the Super Bowl, isn't it? Like, yeah, yeah. They, they don't call them themselves the world champions. They're Super Bowl winners. They're, they're Super Bowl champions. Yeah. yeah. Like... Yeah, it is It is crazy to me. But, again, I digress. Like, not all of America is th- the worst place on the planet. But no, they I don't really know. don't help themselves. I, like, if you're going to take, like, America, like, generally, 
is just London on steroids. <laughs> like, yeah. So, yeah. like, take LA for for example, right? Full of the worst people yeah, on the planet, yeah, yeah. all condensed into a small area. <laughs> yeah. That's just London, bro. That literally New York as well. New York looks like a hellscape. Town, I, oh, mate, do you know how much I want to go to New York though? Like, for many reasons. I love to see you try and drive through New York. Fuck that. <laughs> right? Like, I would not drive, but I would... I want to go on a subway. Yeah, yeah. Because I've heard that the subway is the craziest fucking place mm, on earth. Mm. Um, I, and I want to, like, go to, like, the Bronx. <laughs> oh, yeah. But, like, like through the Bronx. Oh, I'm not stopping. Bro, I want to go to Staten Island. I want to oh, see what that looks like. I heard it's dog shit. <laughs> yeah, it's not great. Yeah. But yeah, and then like, I th- yeah, I want to go to like LA then and just see like, go to like the p- uh, rich places and mm. see some of the fucking like daddy's brats fucking yeah s- swiping c- credit cards and that fucking. It is, it is, it is nuts how some Americans are just, again, in their own little bubble and they don't understand that. But some, some Americans have come out and said like, they're not taught other cultures in school no nah, it's literally just america yeah salute the flag i was gonna say this is a big thing as well it's like america there's a lot more thing with their borders and yeah, immigration yeah. and stuff like that and i think because and they're so big yeah it does make sense to just learn about their country yeah where there's like over here we're a very small island and we allow different cultures in into yeah, our yeah. in this sounds so bad, but like in, into our country, or the, the country, the country I'm going to go for. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's like, because of that, we have such like a diverse range of backgrounds in such yeah. a small area. Yeah. Because think the, the UK is fucking tiny. It's so small. Compared to like the rest of the world. Yeah. <laughs> like literally yeah. like anywhere fact, else. Do you know what blows my mind? How we used to run the world. You, How the fuck did we conquer so many countries? You know why that is? Go on. No one, no one could, uh, could attack us. Because we're an island. Because our navy is, was so fucking fair, that's, good. That's kind of a big reason why we won World War Two. Uh, yeah. Because Churchill was like, fuck, fight them on the breaches. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I like that. It was a good Churchill. Good, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> fucking, oh, can we just take a moment to appreciate Winston Churchill? Yo, Winston Churchill <laughs> was a gangster. <laughs> fucking legend. Was a, there's probably some things that we don't know about him. Oh, he, he but, de- definitely fucking hit his missus. Like, <laughs> bro, it was the fucking 40s. Yeah. Of course he fucking, or 30s. Colossal racist, no doubt. Massive <laughs> racist, yeah, yeah. But... but yeah. Fucking what a legend! What an absolute, what an absolute. My God, just used to man. wake up in the morning, chuck his top hat on, light his cigar, eat a fucking bacon sandwich. Yeah, and out he went. <laughs> yeah, was so, it? Was fucking flipping the V to everyone. Yeah, yeah. He basically just whipped his dick out during 1945. Yeah, that's yeah. the set like just everywhere he went. Yeah, I don't think we've had a fucking a prime minister since <laughs> who's been who's been as nah. who's, who's, had, who's had as much now this is what the kids say aura yeah as, have a riz been replaced with aura yeah aura's replaced riz uh there's there's, there's quite a few demure that's demure, another one. i love that's, demure that's another one that's kind of i've been saying that for so fucking long yeah, yeah very demure very very mindful very mindful very cute very cutesy <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah. But yeah, America, I know I, take, I make fun of you a lot, but you deserve it. So, you know. Valid. Very take it, valid. Take it. Um, yeah. Anything Anything else been on your mind? Um, I mean, we talked Deadpool Wolverine a little bit last time, didn't we? But we, we, didn't, did. we didn't talk spoilers. I'm definitely 100% without a shadow of a doubt dressing up as Gambit for fucking Halloween Oh, this year. I'm about to make a name for myself here. <laughs> Mate, honestly... I love Channing Tatum. I didn't know my daddy, but but I showed a shot out of his dick, ready? (laughs) Such a stupid fucking accent. Did you you see that it became the highest rated, the highest grossing R-rated movie of all time? uh, That does not surprise me in the slightest. I'm going to challenge you to guess the others. Guess, guess the top. I know, I know it overtook Joker. Yeah, Joker's one of them. R-rated movies, fuck, here we go. So I've got I've got the top ten here. If you can guess, okay, I'll go for the top five. Do I know the top five? Uh, yeah. Okay. Have I seen the top five? Oh wait, this is in the top five in order. Give me a sec. Uh, ja, ba, ba, I don't know, movies lists. 
Then Sean Levy's face. Go ahead. Oh, yeah, you know the top five. You know three of the top five very well. I'll give you a clue. It's the other two. <laughs> oh, so, oh, yeah. Deadpool okay, one yeah, and yeah, Deadpool yeah, yeah, two. Yeah, yeah. Uh, then you got Joker, yeah. And then the other one came out last year. Okay. Won, okay. won a lot of awards. I Honestly, I'm blanking on all our rated movies right now. Long movie. Boom. Oh, Oppenheimer? Oppenheimer, yeah. Rated, yeah, oh, yeah well, obviously. Rated, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That got uh, just shy of a billion. Uh, honestly, if Barbie didn't come out on the same day, then there was no way that was selling as much. <laughs> it was a fucking good movie. Really good movie. Uh, but yeah, the other the other five, do you want to have a little, little stab in the dark? Some of these might surprise you. So. No. <laughs> uh, Valid guess, though. <laughs> so number six is The Matrix Reloaded. Didn't know Matrix what was R-rated. What counts as R-rated? Is it a 15 in the UK? 15, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, number seven is It, the remake. Makes sense. Which, again, good yeah. movie. Number eight is a movie called Detective Chinatown 3. I really want to watch that film. Which is, I've seen it. It's, it's okay, good. it's all right. It sounds amazing. But it's it was never released outside of China. Which is nuts because it made just shy of seven hundred million dollars. Mate, China's massive. China's though. crazy. And then fuck you, Americans. Fucking be like China. <laughs> uh, then number nine is Logan. I forgot about Logan. Yeah, yeah. Then at number ten is The Passion of the Christ, which I also watched. It's a bad movie. That's crazy. It's all in Hebrew. Whoa. The entire the entire film is spoke and the who the, speaks Hebrew is it Jewish? Jewish. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, the only reason I could tell that it's R-rated is because they whip the shit out of Jesus. I've seen the clips. The, oh, my God. The guy. So they got these whips with, like, hooks on the end. Yeah. And they get him. And, like, they manage to do it. So it looks like it, like, hooks into him. And, like, he tries to pull it away and it doesn't work. And then he pulls again and it rips his fucking. It's rough, man. But half of the movie, or what felt like half of the movie, is Jesus carrying the cross. And, get, yeah. and going up to get... um. Uh, crucified. Talk, I'm gonna say so. We went to a Christian primary school. We did. Do you find it mad that we was told that story? <laughs> yeah, children. Like that's a brutal ass story. <laughs> children were told that a guy was nailed to a cross and crucified and crucified just because he was what magic. Like, and also it was because one of his friends deceived. Do you, yeah, <laughs> I've never really like. You don't know, deep it, do you? Nah. So, uh, I also, I watched another movie the other day called The Book of Clarence. Um, and it's basically, it's the one you walked in on me watching with the guy who looked like uh, Charles Gambino. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but basically, it's like a sort of reimagining of the story of Jesus where this guy is so done with like being down on his luck and he's in debt and this guy's in debt too said like, you're going to die I'm going to kill you in a week if you don't pay me back. So he basically pretends to be the Messiah, the new Messiah, because mm. Jesus is in the film. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then he gets caught, and the whole... Basically what happens is there's just a giant misunderstanding, because Jesus is in the film, but he is actually magic. Not, not the real Jesus. Not the actual so, Jesus. Okay, no, okay, no, no, just no, checking. No. Guy playing Jesus. Okay, yeah, yeah, fair. <laughs> but... It, <laughs> But he is actually magic, and he manages to to stop stones midair, and he gives this homeless guy played by Benedict Cumberbatch a coin on his hand that just produces mass amounts of coins. So he then goes and gets like groomed up and stuff, and then he looks exactly like the Jesus we know. Yeah. So because he's going around giving away free money because it's just coming out of his hand, they grab him. Because he's another false messiah, yeah. along with the main guy in the movie, crucify them, and Benedict Cumberbatch, who looks like Jesus, is on this cross, and someone's painting Benedict Cumberbatch, so that's why we think Jesus is this white dude with like long hair and a beard. That's insane. Yeah, that's yeah. Like, and then I, I'm fully behind that. <laughs> it was. It's an okay movie, but um, but yeah, it was. It was like a really interesting sort of way of yeah, yeah, way, uh, way of doing it. But yeah, the whole thing of us. Being told the um the Jesus, right? Mad things like he's a, got an art on for mass murder and giving kids cancer. 
And his all and his big answer to the big cluster fact that is humanity is the nail is beating us it's the nail is beating us into a punk. Oh fuck! I ah, he it. fucked it. Sorry, I was laughing as I was doing it. That yeah. is a cunt move. Even you got to admit that. <laughs> but bro, fucking yeah, the story of Christ is a mad one. Yeah, yeah. We were just being told it when we were like eleven years old. Yeah. Which is crazy. Also, I kind of feel like Mary was a victim that just didn't speak up. There's a whole scene in the book of Clarence where <laughs> he goes to see Mary, and Mary, and <laughs> he's there like, so you were a virgin. <laughs> And she's there, like, trying to explain. And Joseph's also there. And he's sort of, like, looking at Joseph, like, my guy, like, did you... All right, okay, cool. Bro, have you ever seen that TikTok? Uh, <laughs> I baked you a cake. I baked you a pie. I baked you we a don't pie. have an oven. You see how that sounds, <laughs> Mary? <laughs> Which is true. Mary was, like, yo, she, she was... was on, she was on the, one. Bro. One of the biggest, like, lies in history. In age, you get me. She like... just gaslit her husband. <laughs> Dude, mad like there, there was a whole following after, mary was like, the first gaslighter bro, bro we go. unreal <laughs> commitment commitment to the bit <laughs> yeah, commitment, yeah, like, yeah fair play to her yeah, like fuck me they wrote a whole book about it she like, really fucking like she, she was like no i swear to god this son is gonna be born swear to god um, yeah yeah, yeah. This, my, this, this baby will be born and he will be magic <laughs> fuck off no you won't <laughs> don't worry that he's a different colour don't <laughs> yeah. look into that yeah yeah it's fine like <laughs> don't don't even worry about it oh my god again sorry we're offending a lot of people in oh, this episode it is what it is yeah, fuck it innit fuck it <laughs> but yeah moving on I have a list of things Kieran oh, I fucking hate it when you want a list I have a list of things you've never seen how do you know I mean, have you ever seen? So we thought about this just before the podcast, <laughs> right? Logically, if you've never like seen anything, like the whole thing in it, you've got to see something for it to physically yeah. exist. Seeing is believing. Yeah, as yeah. Some people say, and people say, "Oh, yeah." Unless you, unless I see it with my own eyes. So, like they say, like about Jesus, and so I see him with my own eyes. Yeah, he don't exist. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever seen a whale, like with your own eyes? You've ever seen one? Like, yeah. Because people, flat earthers, they say they've never seen the earth be round, so they believe it's flat. That's a madness. But they've also never seen, like you just said, they've never seen the, the planet Jupiter. Yeah. But so they some, know it's there. Some people go their entire lives without seeing the beach. <laughs> like, I've never seen fucking Canada. Did you get like, yeah. But I just trust the map. Nah, to be fair, there is that. Flat Earthers do believe that Australia doesn't yeah, exist. Yeah, yeah. Fuck me. But yeah, anyway, so list of uh, list of things you've never seen. I got this from uh, a TikTok page called the Alpha Blokes Podcast. Uh, I'm just stealing other podcast material. Man. I mean, isn't that what podcasts are <laughs> nowadays? <laughs> to be fair, I'm they pretty see... sure like 90% of our lists come from other podcasts. Yeah, you see other things, like, that's a funny thing. I'm going to tell, I'm going <laughs> to... Yeah. I already use that for my podcast. I think we should do the basement yard thing and get um those like fish bowls that they were drinking. <laughs> they like made like a cocktail and like this big bowl thing, oh. and the entire podcast they were just there drinking them. That's rough, but yeah, let's do it. Let's do a drunk po- podcast. Why should not? Be, I got beer booze in my bedroom now. I'm just trying to get rid of. <laughs> I'm surprised you haven't gone through it by now. Cheers, mate. Yeah, <laughs> Okay, nice one, yeah. <laughs> nice one, cheers. I can cry now. Yeah. Anyway, so here are some things. I got seven. Here are seven things that you've never seen. Number one, a seagull in a tree. He is stunned to silence. <laughs> nah, yo, because honestly, right? Never seen a seagull in a tree. Nah. Seen pigeons in a tree? I was going to say, like, I don't even think I've seen a pigeon in a tree. I've seen a pigeon in a tree. I've heard them. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, those, those things. <laughs> that, that was a way better pigeon impression. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, nah. Yeah, a, sea, a seagull in a tree. But Where do seagulls come from? What What are they? Apparently, our, <coughs> our seagulls are a lot bigger than America's. When August was here, she was like, your seagulls are fucking massive. Yeah, apparently they're supposed to be pigeon-sized. <laughs> yeah, which would blow my mind. If I saw a pigeon-sized seagull, I'd go, Raz, why is your seagull so small? I'd be like, what's wrong with your seagulls? Yeah. Are your seagulls okay? It's like, look at our baby seagull. August was also 
surprised at the variety of pigeon we have. Mate, I saw yesterday and were the biggest fucking pigeon <laughs> I have ever saw in my life. Yeah? Mate, it was, like, I'm not even lying... It was fucking huge. You know it's big when someone looks around to try to find something to come Honestly, with. I can't even, like, there's nothing. Literally nothing. <laughs> it was fucking massive, bro. And he was just sat on a fence. And I was like, I was with a uh, guy I was working with. I was like, Jace, fucking size of that pigeon. And he just turned around and went, who fuck me, yeah. <laughs> I was like, you mean it's fucking huge? How are you not? I think that they're, they're evolving, lad. Bro. <laughs> like, we, we can't have this. Turns out it was just some cunt in a suit. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. But yeah, August was surprised at the variety of pigeon we have. She was... The fact that we have, like, white pigeons blew her mind. They're doves. No. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a dove, it was a pigeon. But you know, like, you have, like, grey pigeon and, like, stuff like a... Uh, little fun fact about oh, doves. Oh, for God's sake. Nah, do you know doves, right? Yeah. Do you know how magicians do the whole thing when they make them appear? Oh, yeah. The, the, you can squeeze a dove <laughs> into your hands and they're just fine. <laughs> Now you're lying to me. Bro, I <laughs> swear a, to God, that's a flat there, was, there was a guy on Britain's Got Talent, yeah, and he, remember... You, it was back when we used to watch it and he was like pulling doves out of like his fucking oh, just yeah, everywhere. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he does a bear flat doves. Bro, like there's this thing you can do with them where they just stay still and like just go into like a little ball and then when you think then and like throw it, like they come alive and yeah, I don't know, or like it's crazy. I would not, there's no. Like, imagine me coming up and just going, yo, look at this dove. And then it's, <laughs> bro, I think, I think you killed the dove. <laughs> 100% I think he killed them. But then... And then it just was back. That's a trick in itself. I know they dehydrate them. Yeah. So then they couldn't have water on, like, their fingertips to keep them... Is that... Is that something they... like that, yeah. They they, uh... they dehydrate them so they're, like, gasping for water. Yeah. Which, you know, save the doves, if you ask me. I know, fucking all. Second thing you've never seen. Well, you've, you, you've, you've actually probably seen this. An ice cream van at a petrol station. <laughs> That's that. Nah, I haven't. That, actually. that one blew my mind. No, yeah. Now that now that you say it, yeah, I've never seen an ice cream van filling up, which is mad because they're driving all day. Do you know what I've never seen filling up? What? A bus. They've got their own, haven't no, they? But like, as in a coach. They've got their own, haven't they? Like. They've got, like, their own... Oh, wait, no, but if they're travelling... Like, when you go to the services, innit, you've got that, like... Oh, yeah, they've got, like, their own little section, haven't they? Yeah, a lot of the time, you can, like, <coughs> they're next to the the regular people pumps. Yeah. Every time I've looked over, always a lorry. Do you reckon that's where the ice cream vans go? Nah. Because you can get a van in a regular petrol station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have seen a fucking lorry in a regular petrol station, though. Really? Yeah. Oh, we, weird as fuck. Like a big lorry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big lorry. Wow. Just odd. Jesus. That was another thing that blew August's mind, was ice cream vans. Because the, the... Oh, yeah, you yeah. said... So, Norwegian ice cream vans, yeah? They're not like British ice cream vans. They don't have a guy in the back. Weird. It's just a guy driving a, driving a big freezer. And what you do is you'd come up your street, play music... <coughs> oh, excuse me play music and then you go up to him and be like oh can I have a fab please can I have a twister only lollies he'd then go to like a section of this van open it and it'd be like a freezer he'd like open a drawer and thing and you can either buy one or a box of them and then he'll just give it to you and you give it you so give my it guy's money. just out just selling lollies out the back of his fucking car like out the back yeah it's like um it's like I'm trying to see a car outside that I can compare it to, but it is it's it's kind it's kind of like your van. I've I've seen the food truck ones where the side comes up and it's like very similar to them, stuff. very yeah. similar to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'm ever in work and I see one of them pulling up on the building I'm working on, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> go down there, two pasty, sausage roll, yeah. sandwich, pack of crisps, Mars bar, and a drink. Let's go, two cans of Fanta fruit twist. How much will that cost you? Oh, about fucking four pounds. <laughs> Literally, fuck all, mate. But um, but yeah, that's that's what a Norwegian ice cream van is. So when I took her to, I took her to Rolf Park, and it was a boiling hot day. And obviously there was a guy there. There was an ice cream 
the, the, the ice cream van there. That's always been there since we were mm. kids. And yeah, I was like, yeah, that's that's our ice cream van. And bro, she looked at this thing like it was a UFO. There's she, a gap in the market. Yeah, she was there like, wait, so what? Because they don't do soft serve ice cream this in is, Norwegian ice cream. This tracks. is what I mean. Like, I think we should move to, to to ice cream. We should move to Norway and just fucking just dude, they'll lose with, their minds. Rock up with an ice cream van. Yeah, and I was there, and like the fact that the menu was on the window, that was like thing. So what? They just gotta know what they want. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. I think I think they do have a menu, but it's like on the back, and it's just like a normal that's fuckery like thing, and it nah, tells you the price. I next want to pictures it. with a little yeah, circle yeah. and the night the fucking. The delivery. You used to say ninety nine p now says two pound fifty. Don't say Robert fuck bastards. all now. The country just fucking tells you the total at the end breaks your heart. I don't want to know. <laughs> yeah, don't say yeah. You buy fucking three ice creams like that'll be a mortgage, please. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I'll be a DC and a house. Uh, but yeah, she liked. She did like the ice cream. I said. Ice cream van, ice cream so is banging. banging. Yeah. Soft but when I told her as well that I used to be able to uh, to buy cigarettes off here, bro, that blew her mind. Fuck yeah, I got served on the ice cream van from the yeah. age of fourteen. Right, and, and, and I said like, because you know the guy and they know your mum, your mum would be able to be like, she chuck you a couple of quid, like, oh, get us a pack of fags. Yeah, yeah. And you go on and be like, oh, I have a pack of fags as well, please, Tony. Yeah. Tony was ours, wasn't he? Yeah. Still doing it. Still is. Still doing it. Still going up our fucking <coughs> our street we grew up on. Big up, Tony. Uh, third thing you've never seen this is a classic neighbours taking in their shopping I've seen this have you? I have seen this what like a like a weekly shop? like oh yeah 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 um do you know the swole people next block over the ones oh in, yeah the ones the, 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 they listen to the workout music in the summer yeah well, oh what was it, it was like yeah, left you, yeah yeah right you got to pump it up don't yeah, you know yeah, you yeah. some kind out there on a bro I'll be there in my bedroom like got to pump it up oh, don't bro. you know bro. that's when I'm glad like, that's when I'm glad you've got a back bedroom in the summer oh yeah it's fucking it wasn't that bad obviously again we didn't really have a summer this yeah, year yeah it was for me sweaty because you know we skipped August and everything yeah. <laughs> fourth thing a greyhound puppy. You know greyhounds, the ones that like run really quick. Never seen a puppy version, which is nuts because I bet they're cute as fuck. No, nah, yeah, not what you Or saying. do they get born like giraffes? Well, just fall out and walk. And they, they just they they are very giraffe like. Yeah, they? they're also not cute dogs. They're so fucking in ugly. the slightest. Those, Those and the ones that look Engli- like sharks. Uh, English bull terriers. <coughs> Is that what it is? I think it is, yeah. British the one from fucking fr- uh, next Friday. Yeah, yeah. They are not cute dogs. No. I, I had a friend who had... Who... Also, unpopular opinion, Frenchie's ugliest dog on earth. Oh, they the... Um... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thing is, I would agree, but I do also... I like pugs. Pugs are in the same category. Pugs are me. ugly as shit. Fuck ugly. I, they're cute as fuck. They're also... It's like unfair... Because they need, like, surgery to breathe. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah and Their like, eyes go all fucked up and yeah, shit as well. Yeah, they're, they're an abomination of a of a breed, but they're it, cute it, as fuck. It's because they're just, like, crossbred fucking... They, yeah. It's unreal. There's like, so many, like, They're, they're crossbred and inbred. It's insane. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like someone got, like, a Petri dish and just chucked everything yeah. into it. Like, it's, and then that's what come out. Yeah, yeah, but I still, I, they're cute as fuck, like, especially when they're like little all dogs. All dogs are just the fucking best. Dogs, yeah, we don't deserve dogs. I, you know I do. I mean? Can we get a dog? No, we can't get Please, a dog. Please, bro. No. <laughs> I'm just going to rock up one day with a dog and there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we own him now. <laughs> he is ours now. You ever seen that video of a guy who comes home with a dog, <coughs> but the wife did the same thing? Yeah. <laughs> so now they got two dogs. <laughs> Uh, that, that's called finding someone on your level. Yeah, yeah. Uh, next thing, again, another classic, a baby pigeon. Yeah. Never I think that's just because they're just nesting, though, innit? Yeah, and they wait until they're like, you know, thing. <laughs> another thing that August liked, or August kept noticing, was how many pigeons were missing toes and, like, full feet. You ever seen this? No. Like, pigeons that are just, they, they go out right. Look at ten pigeons. I bet at least fucking six of them are missing a toe. Fuck off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just keep for some reason the a vast majority of them are missing toes. What? What? what I don't know. There's the just... reasoning behind that. When the fuck did you notice that? <laughs> I've, I've, I've known. I've noticed it ages ago. Just like pigeons, just like that's a. I've never missing, missing toes. That's crazy. I've never 
like thought to look at a pigeon's feet, but now I'm I really just want to go out <laughs> looking at pigeons toes. Yeah, it's a thing like when you see like a bunch of pigeons and you're there looking like oh right, it's pigeons, and then like you look at it for a little, for a little while. I'm, I'm going look to at Rolf, its feet. I'm going to fucking Rolf Park after this. I was going to see some fucking pigeons. There was literally one I was missing an entire foot. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen that. I've I, don't, seen, I don't know what happened to it. I've seen one one footed pigeons and that, but yeah, I think it's like they must get it caught on shit and you know fucking chicken wire and all. Yeah, that shit. Yeah, yeah. So you know, yeah, but yeah, baby pigeons. Show me one. Yeah, they don't exist. Never I bet seen they're them. Fucking ugly. No, no, no. I reckon they're cute. Nah, you I reckon they're like bare fluffy. I remember this one time I uh, was on a job with dad and. Basically, the lift shaft come out onto the roof of the building. Oh, yeah. And they had, like, little pockets in the side going into the shaft yeah. to put the beam in yeah. for us to, like, hang shit off and whatever. Yeah. But we had to stop work for, like, three months because a seagull had decided to nest in there. Oh, shit. Yeah. But, like, it scared the shit out of me because I've gone... I, I've come up in the shaft. Dad's gone out to, like, slide the beam in and then I was just going to slide yeah, it across. Yeah, yeah. So as I've like gone like I stuck my head up, I've just got this big fucking seagull <laughs> looking at me and like it's three fucking babies and he's going rah, rah, like proper kicking off at me. I'm like, yo shit. Fucking come out like that. Dad's lifted it from the other side. Just close it. He was like, can't do anything. They're like is like some legal thing you yeah, can't touch them yeah. because you've got to let the babies grow up and then yeah. they fly away. Nothing will ever beat the pigeon flying into your van. That'll oh, be that's bro. one of my favourite stories. I've told that story on you now. Yeah, it's f- oh, so funny. Um, next one, a pregnant Chinese lady. You mentioned this one before. Didn't yeah. You? Now here's the thing, I've seen a pregnant Chinese lady. I don't think I have. I've seen I've seen them in films. In uh, films, I've seen pregnant Chinese people. I don't count though. I've seen Godzilla in films. <laughs> <laughs> like. You make a very good point. <laughs> Do you get what I mean? Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. Fair. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> that reminds me of um there's a, a, a film that came out recently. I don't I don't know if it was recently or last year. But it was basically a bow and I tried to take him and Scarlett Johansson in it. But it was basically a bow uh NASA faking the moon landing I, yeah, if they didn't yeah. succeed yeah. because they wanted to think and the amount of people in the comments of like the the trailer and tiktoks and stuff like that being like oh see they're not even hiding it anymore and there were people being like he's gonna lose his mind when he lo- when he learns about thanos bro like, when he watches transformers oh my god you get me. he's not gonna look at cars the same way fucking i'll imagine that but they also missed the point of the movie. Do you reckon he's going to shit himself when he watches 2012? Oh, <laughs> yeah, he's going to wonder why he's alive. Matrix? Oh, don't get me started. Nah, bro. Oh, that reminds me. Oh, God. Here's another thing. There's, there's a new film coming out with uh, 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 James McAvoy in it, and he plays a psychopath. Nice. Of course he does. That's what he's good at. Um, and he said, in order to get into character for this toxic masculinity psychopath, he got inspiration from Andrew Tate. Fair. He said in an interview, like, so I said, oh, well, how did you get into the thing? What's your inspiration? And he said, Andrew Tate. Fair. He just looked at Andrew Tate. I was like, I'm going to do that. I'm going to dial it up to like 50. <coughs> Fair play. That's a good, that's good method acting. Which is why he's one of the better actors. One of the most underrated actors. Oh, I yeah. Crim- I, still, I still haven't seen Split though. Criminally, so, you know. criminally underrated he is. Apparently he's really good in the movie as well. Uh, yeah, and last one, this one threw me for a loop because I didn't think this was something people noticed. You've never seen a goth drive a car. <laughs> yeah, I did the same thing where I was like, nah, that's... Huh. They do love a bus stop though, don't they? <laughs> Especially in Cardiff. They do love a bus in general. Bro. As, as someone who takes a lot of buses, I've seen a... Like, a lot of goths on buses. Fair share, fair share of goths, yeah. yeah. I think a bus is a goth form of transport, you know. Nah. Bat. <laughs> so, sorry. Broom. <laughs> Fucking broom. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Man, that, was, that, that was one that was like, huh, yeah, I mean, it's a weird thing to notice, but... 
It's like Notice in Pigeon's Feet. I don't think <laughs> I've seen like a hardcore goth for like... Oh, one that's like proper out. Yeah, like, yeah, like, you know, yeah. fucking spiky black hair, fucking big boots and yeah. all that. Like I've seen like gothic styles mm. and like modern goths I've yeah. seen. But like you don't get old school goths anymore, do you? Yeah, I saw someone on TikTok who um <coughs> she was a goth and she had the full like white makeup with the black and you know stuff like our piercings galore and she did a video of what she'd have to do before she goes to work mm. and it was like wiping it all off taking all the piercings out and stuff like that and she did she looked like a different person it was mad. yeah it's but she looked better with the stuff on i was, I was there, like yeah you rock that look like but some people but, you know. suit her yeah yeah i reckon i reckon i'd make a good goth no you're not edgy enough i make a good metal head yeah that's different yeah Pe- people think already think of a metal head so Mosher, yeah. you'd be a good mosher. Yeah, in the oh, those pits, they scare me, man. Oh yeah, I couldn't couldn't do that. Just ru- what running round and just push it. I'd I'd fuck someone up, bro. Oh, bro. And some people do. They just who fight. are you pushing? Like fucking. You know what I mean? The scares mosh pits scare me. Mosh pits are mad. Yeah, I don't I don't understand mosh pits. I don't, that's very overstimulating. <laughs> very overstimulating. But yeah, that's a list of things you've never seen. You got you, you got any more other than whales? It is matter like you know sharks don't know camels exist. I don't suppose they think about it though, to be honest. But they, they haven't got a clue. Imagine if you show the camels with a shark, they'd be like the fox that, out. That's like it's like us with aliens, isn't it? We don't know like specific aliens exist. Yeah. yeah. Do you see that the um apparently found city what what look like city lights on a planet that's I think it was like seven trillion light years away. Oh, should we go? Yeah. Let's say we go for the summer. Yeah. I wonder what their cost of living's like. Probably better than ours. Yeah, it's not exactly hard, is it? Yeah. Do you reckon they have a government or do you think they do things, you know, normally? <laughs> <laughs> they definitely don't have a fucking queen, that's well, for yeah, sure. Neither do we anymore. Oh, yeah. Topical. Anyway. I think that's it. How long have we been going? I can't see the thing. Can you see uh, it? Wait. Oh, 59 minutes. Wait. 31 seconds. Were you going to wait 31 seconds wait. to tell me an hour? Wait. I'm going to be cutting off the start of this, though. Yeah, so it's not going to be an hour f- you've asked. in the video. You've asked. Wait. It's, oh, God. I've got, you've got 15. Just be fucking you patient. You want 15 seconds of dead air? No, just be fucking patient. Okay, I'll it? sing. Frosty the snowman. <laughs> He's a very early guy. Dude, I don't know the words of Frosty the snowman. I just realized. An hour. There we go. <laughs> Jesus Christ. We've been going for an hour. Thank you. Thank You're you for welcome. telling me. Right, I think that's a good place to end. Thank you all very much for watching. Again, apologies for the long gap in between episodes. Enjoy the next one. We'll see you in October, <laughs> shall we? No, no, we will not. I'm not taking no more blows to the shins. Uh, but yeah, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow us on all of our socials. Be sure to click all the links Kieran mentioned that will be in the description. And um, yeah, we'll see you hopefully next week. <laughs> and remember, ow, wear your white socks. <laughs> I, I got a dead leg. <laughs> I hit my heel. Sorry. <laughs>